Welcome back to Fox Tech. In today's video, I'll be walking you through how to restrict messages on Safari using your iPhone. Managing access and usage of certain apps has become quite straightforward in iOS 17 and iOS 18. If you're watching this before iOS 18 is publicly released, keep in mind that the features might vary slightly. Whether you want to set restrictions for someone else or need reminders for yourself, I'll guide you through the process. To start, we need to use the screen time section in settings. Open the settings app, scroll down and select screen time. If you don't see any toggles, it means screen time might not be set up yet. Just follow the on-screen instructions to enable it. Getting started with with this feature is simple and you'll find it very helpful for managing app usage. For managing messages, you'll wanna to go to the communication limits section within screen time. The communication limits are very useful because they allow you to restrict who you can communicate with during certain times. This feature can apply limits to phone calls, messages, and FaceTime. You can set different rules for allowed communication during screen time and downtime. For instance, you can limit communication to contacts only, specific groups, or approved lists. This is particularly helpful for managing and controlling interactions for children or maintaining personal focus times. To ensure you have the correct settings, definitely explore the communication limits option in screen time. It's a great way to manage messaging effectively. Another useful feature is setting app limits. Go to the app limits section, enable the toggle at the top, and then tap add limit. You can restrict an entire category of apps, like all games, or limit a specific app. In this case, search for messages. Set a daily time limit, which can range from one minute to an hour or more, depending on your preference. This sets the amount of time you can use the app each day. When the limit is reached, a screen will notify you that the time is up, and you'll need a passcode to bypass it. This is a great way to manage and control the use of the Messages app effectively. Additionally, you might consider using third-party apps for similar functionality. One app I recommend is Opal, which offers robust blocking options. This isn't a sponsored mention, but I found Opal to be quite effective. It provides additional features that can help you maintain control over app usage, especially if you need more stringent restrictions. So, to recap, Managing messages on Safari is quite simple with the screen time feature. Open the settings app, set up screen time if you haven't already, and navigate to communication limits to restrict who can communicate with you. Use the app limits section to set specific time limits for the messages app. And if necessary, consider third party apps like Opal for additional control. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found this information helpful, please consider subscribing to Fox Tech and giving this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us create more content like this. Peace.